example of AI. So this is the weak example of AI, weak artificial intelligence. So they might appear to have a strong AI when the conditions can be improved. Fine. So machine intelligence equivalent to human intelligence is also debatable. It is not equivalent, nowhere around, but it is somehow done a lot of things right from sensors to, I mean, automated machines, they have, I mean, reduced the efficiency, they have reduced the uh, complexity and increased the efficiency of the work. That's true. But there are some other debatable questions. Just mind it. Ki manpower is not an issue, not an issue in Indian scenario. It could be a, an issue in European countries. So why getting automated and reducing the job? So there are lots of consequences related to this. Fine. So these are my thoughts I'm just sharing with you. Uh, so there is narrow AI and weak AI can explore much more. Do not have general intelligence. If we are talking, just I have given, given, given you an example. They have a specific intelligence. They are limited to that specific intelligence. Suppose I'm asking for some person who, who has been in the database or not. They have searched that person by typing control F. It's a very simple thing. And he has found or she has found that person. So these are very limited and specific things. These are called intelligent system, not machine learning, not artificial intelligence. But nowadays they are categorized under the weak AI. Fine. So weak AI mostly in nowadays, it helps turn big data into usable information by detecting pattern. Fine. By making predictions. Not on a great level like uh, astrology can be could be one of the example. A stock market analysis could be one of the example. So example of VKI include Facebook newsfeed. It is a great example uh, where we can connect it. So Facebook newsfeed is a perfect example of uh, VKI. Amazon's suggested purchases. Amazon and Apple Siri. <coughs> Google Alexa. This could, could be VKI based on a specific database, based on a specific examples, but could be failed in most of the cases when the questions or when the data sets has been twisted and turned. Fine. So a computer used an algorithm. When we, we are talking about algorithm, so a computer can use an algorithm to learn which messages are likely to be spam. Fine. If we are talking about Gmail, which message will be get into your spam? Which message will get into your inbox? Which message is get into your draft? So it's all been programmed before, but it cannot be AI. It can be intelligent system. When Google take over the things, I mean, when Sundar Pichai, Pichai came in, he transformed the things very much uh, in a revolution way you can see whenever you are getting a mail in gmail you are getting get you have also got the options of some automated replies goodbye i will respond you i, I won't consider this paper this paper is not good whatever the question is the answer could be around that question so these are the perfect revolutions these are the random machine learning algorithms which has been applied now the system has been changed and improved a lot that I am committing. But it's not been like that, that it could be done like uh, uh, most of the car on a road is an automated car. It's not. And it will take around 20 years. I mean, even if they are Google is working on that, I mean, uh, uh, Tesla is working on that. There are lots of companies which are working on uh, automated car and they are very much open or they are very much justified in an open field, but not in a traffic, not now. So how we can say that AI has been, I mean, totally overcome and explored in all the way. So it's not the current generation. It is the future generation. That's what I am telling again and again. So there are limitations which has been discussed by us throughout. So besides this limited capabilities, some of the problem with VKI include the possibility to cause harm if system fail. For example, if we are talking about automated car. So there is possibility that it, is, it could cause harm. And if system fails, it could be a I mean, uh, deadly system. It could be like a failure in a real-time system. It's completely I mean, uh, failure of the particular system you have uh, proposed. 
fine for example uh, consider a driverless car that we are talking about that i mean miscalculate the location of overcoming vehicles fine and cause a deadly collision so that is a collision which can never be recovered that is called hard deadline that is called hard real time system if we have gone through with real time system scenario and if it is soft real time system it could be the minor accident or which can be or any accident which can be recovered so the system also has the possibility to cause harm if system is used by someone who wishes to cause harm fine so you can calculate or you can i mean um, uh, recognize what point i am focusing on fine so consider a terrorist who used a self driving car to deploy explosive in i mean crowded area it is possible so there are lots of example where we can i mean uh, deploy or we can exemplify vki why so a further concern related to vki is is the loss of jobs i have discussed you because see in india in india manpower is not a problem so i mean loss of job can be a i mean crisis over here and it it it, it has been a crisis since we have grown up job crisis is always there and in a, in a same scenario if you are making the things automated then we lose the available jobs also then the, then what what is point of using this system of using this technology of using this technology management system whatever you can call it fine so a further concern could be related to loss of jobs caused by automation or increasing the task will unemployed skyrocket will society come up with new ways of human to be economically productive this can be one of the question although the prospect of a large percentage of worker losing their job may be terrifying so there can be lots of thing which is not in a technical factor so it's not about good things about ai 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 and we are not doing anything apart from making a password passbook uh, update machine automated teller machine it has reduced the complexity of our life i do agree but it has reduced the job it has reduced the efficiency in indian scenario i am talking about so i will talk about the medical structure in indian scenario also telemedicine we have all have heard about it but is it very effective even now in pgi chandigarh they are not giving any uh, uh, appointment physically everything has been done on a google meet or telemedicine thing they are giving uh, 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 i mean instruction on that uh, mode that it is it could be considered as telemedicine and it is very effective uh effectively working but not in a same way that we physically meet a doctor and get instruction and get some assurance not in a same way so there could be there should be some differences fine so now what is strong ai i mean in a way that we have discussed the different scenario of vki what is strong ai in one line if i have to explain a strong ai it could be strong intelligence or you can say true intelligence or artificial general intelligence it is also called agi fine so it i have told you that it is a theoretical form of machine intelligence that is equal to human intelligence but on an i mean real time system can you believe that it is as same as human intelligence no it is not but some societies of ai is there which has certified that hi it has done some level of work so it can be considered or considered parallel as human intelligence but it is not of course not so key characteristics of a strong ai include the ability to reason it can reasonify the thing fine solve puzzles make judgments fine plan learn and communicate this this could be one of the i mean uh, most important feature to learn and to communicate making the things learning making the things trained feeding a child with a spoon concept remember domesticate your dog concept they it will i mean bark on the outsider not on 
family members this is what this is learning this is training but that is from that is a god gift fine that is very natural so do we have made something which has as intelligent as dog as far as automation is concerned the answer is no the answer is there are some strength but there are lots of drawbacks fine the question is why i am focusing on the drawbacks because when we are working on some research projects or when we are working on some paper or some funded research they all are talk talking about the uh, i mean uh, what the what is the strength we have worked on but if we are working on what we have not able to do so far then we can do something which is been relevant to the society otherwise there is no point of any research or any phd or anything fine it could be helpful in surveillance system it could be helpful in trafficking and ana analysis fine it could be helpful in sentiments analysis it could be helpful in emotional intelligence so these kind of thing so as far as strong ai is concerned it moves beyond weak ai simulated human cognition it is very much problem solving learning and development is all, always there fine so there are lots of changes i mean svm is there has revolutionized the changes and uh, there is artificial neural network fine genetic algorithm convolution neural network so these are comes under the category of strong ai so they are computing system inspired by biological neuron fine so they are working on the neurons just like human beings are having so neurons network and nodes called artificial neurons so each connection like synapses in biological brain just like god has made our brain like so can transmit a signal from one artificial neuron to other other just like uh, i mean our system has worked naturally so these are the things which can be termed as i mean uh, strong ai so if we have to understand a strong ai this could be some of the example there are cloud technology there are data mining it is the practice of examining pre existing database fine to generate some new information or we have to reach some decision cloud technology so before storage and making the things stored was a very much bigger problem and it was very much expensive even though we if we have considered this 400 and 500 mb uh, ram was a uh, was i mean occupied a uh, room like structure but now it's so simple and it's so compact and it is so cheap like a structure so there are lots of things which has been revolutionized i do agree and we are thankful to science and technology for that but it's a long way to go as far as <coughs> compatibility and reliability is concerned <coughs> sorry fine so understanding a strong ai which is not currently exist for me i can justify it i have been trying to justify it in front of you it is not existing truly but it has been improved a lot fine so some experts predict it has been developed by 2030 or 50 fine in coming 20 years other more comparatively predict that it may be developed within the next century or developed development of ai may be possible or may not be possible at all so there are lots of societies which are in favor or which are opponent of those favored society some theorists argue that machine with a strong ai should be able to go through the same development process as human starting with a i mean child like mind fine feeding a child with a spoon suppose if we are feeding a child with a spoon and trained or learned them to feed him in the ear in spite of mouth so he will feed his ear or her ear so these are the theory which is always been used to violate the proposed work of ai fine so it should be able to interact with the world if we are uh, working on child mind concept so it should be able to interact with the world and learn from it acquiring its own common sense and languages fine whether it is indian language whether it is chinese or anything so another argument we can consider when we have developed a strong ai fine 
if it can be indeed be developed under development because there is no consensus i mean consensus on what constitute intelligence fine so without database without mining algorithm without classification algorithm ai is i mean nothing it's it could be a intelligent based system that's it for nowadays fine so this is all about this particular terminology that what i have discussed here also fine so there is a super intelligence or a strong ai i mean better than before but it is not i mean considered as this is the final ai fine so if we are talking about before going into health and bioinformatics if we are talking about weak ai or uh, 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 strong ai so the risk and reward of a strong ai the possibility of a strong ai comes from the major potential benefit and serious concern fine so some people fear that a strong ai becomes a reality getting my point and ai may become more intelligent than human but it is not possible i mean right now for, uh, at least it is not possible it seems a phenomenon known as the singularity whenever we have gone through with the concepts we will discuss the singularity the idea is that a strong ai will be so intelligent that it can alter itself and pursue its own goal without human intervention this is the point and this is a very i mean good point where there is no debate i mean debate will come to an end fine so possibly in ways that are harmful to human think killer robots like in a movie i have just discussed robot with you fine so it could be a strong ai but it is not helpful for the society so ai can be developed with constraints that i believe in constraint and limitations will always be there even if it is super intelligence even if it is strong ai even if it is artificial general intelligence agi there is no point that we are not working with constraints to prevent such outcomes that constraint will help us to prevent such outcomes so there is a question i mean could a strong ai be programmed with desirable moral values have we worked in that way on human intelligence that it could be effective that robot can be i mean uh, uh, sensitive enough or having some moral values no not for now at least and could humanity agree on what those desirable value would be so there are lots of things which is uh, i mean which can be worked in this system so further research into this issue could help to prevent possibility of robot that turn against us and determine if they could ever ever exist even ever exist fine so there are lots of major concern uh, job issue is always there high in unemployment is always there fine so, however just as industrial revolution dramatically changed fine due to ai the types of job worker performed ai revolution could result not in massive unemployment fine so these are always be the constraints these are always be some drawbacks which has been associated with the technology so it could be like massive uh, i mean employment shifting it can be human could perform jobs that we cannot even imagine today and will not have a need of that until we see all of that fine so ai can do everything for us that's the key point is so there is last another possibility that i want to uh, take your attention that uh, government will have to step in and provide a safety net for those displaced by ai this could be done otherwise there is no point of using ai in india we are i mean less skilled person i mean most of the population more than 50% so what is the point if it is a i mean sensible dimension what is the point of using ai now the last point is super intelligence i have discussed with you weak ai strong ai and now super intelligence which is very much i mean uh, simple as far as definition is concerned so artificial super intelligence 
is an aspect of intelligence which is more powerful sophisticated as well human intelligence is considered to be the most capable and developmental fine no doubt about that super intelligence can surpass human intelligence that's that's what has been proposed fine so i mean what could be the examples what could be the examples of artificial super intelligence so example could be it is a very hypothetical because i have told you that intelligent system is always there and it has been very successful but ai has not been explored in all the way so super intelligence has long been the muse of this poem science fiction it is a fiction fine in which robot overrun overthrow humanity so these are the concepts which has been worked on it has not been i mean in a in a whole shape or whole wholly accepted by all the organizations and society fine so if you are thinking about human intelligence it can think about the abstractions which are impossible for human to think fine the human brain is made of neuron that's we have discussed before and is thereby constrained to some billion neuron but in machine you can increase that in ai you can increase that so it is when we are talking about super intelligence it is not about mimic the cognitive part mimic the cognitive things or human intelligence it becomes self aware that's what proposed and surpassed the capacity of human intelligence and ability because neurons has been increased but that's not enough there are lots of other constraints there are lots of other uh, contradictions so it has not been uh, i mean uh, accepted or justified by all the societies of ai but it is been something which has been worked on fine so these are the things uh, in the basics of ai in the types of ai Uh, we need to know and the mostly i have focused on the drawbacks of ai and what is the threaded line difference between uh, ai and uh, intelligent system so that's all we have done for ai and other concepts now we move to artificial intelligence in health or it could be health or it could be bioinformatics it could be telemedicine so there are lots of lots of stuff which has been related or which has been associated with artificial intelligence in health fine so those people who are working on artificial intelligence or healthcare they can i mean uh, associated with me and they can i mean uh, uh, give me chance to associate it with them with due all due respect but apart from that let's discuss that what are the different scenario right from 1950 i have told you or uh, 1970 mein jab learning and uh, uh, learning or training algorithm aaya uske baad kya kya changes hain so we will go through with all 1950 1960 and all fine so there was a i mean basic concept like artificial kidney x ray fine cardiac pacemaker was there in 1960 heart replacement valve replacement was there fine blood analysis and processing but in 1970 the revolution has been started when the different algorithm has been approached and they have been justified by different societies fine so computer assisted tomography was the one of the best concept that has been done at that point of time artificial hip and knee replacement was there balloon catheter was there endoscopy was there fine in 1970 some more features has been done, uh, i mean uh, availed that magnetic resonance imaging image processing came into feature that we will discuss tomorrow this point that 1980 was having present day and genomic sequencing was there increasing neurons was there fine even dna problem has been i mean uh, uh, cured nowadays which ha- which was i mean uh, uncured before image guided surgery was there that that is also a subject which can be discussed tomorrow 
fine. So these are the innovations in medical and biological. These are the evolution of medical and biological engineering. Fine. So no longer science fiction, AI is transforming in healthcare. Now, this wale scenario, mein aake, jo mera thought hai, or what, what my point is, it's also been changed because it is something which has been done in a real-time scenario. Fine. So if we are working on complex data, then there is a point that we are working on AI or we are working on some algorithm. Fine. So that particular algorithm potential is to extract out the meaningful relationship with the data set. And it can be used in the diagnosis, treatment, predicting outcome in many clinical scenarios. What we have discussed, these are the clinical scenarios. So the purpose of artificial intelligence is to make computer disease. Uh, is to make computer more useful in disease prediction and something and to understand the principles. Fine. For example, non-communicable disease, NCD, also known as chronic disease, are not passed from one person to other. Fine. So how we can detect that without using the technology and concepts? Fine. They are long duration and generally slow progression. So some machines or some algorithm or some technology must be there to detect it, to find it, and to reach at some decision or analysis. That's what the AI machine learning and data mining algorithm is all about, to reach at some decision which is fruitful, which has been, I mean, which has to be used for some, uh, I mean, particular or a specific result. Fine. So there are, I mean, basically, there are mainly four times, four types. So these are the things which has been done. See the complexity of the things which has been, I mean, re AI. It could be like nanotechnology, cognitive sciences, biological sciences, material sciences, information technology. So telemedicine, medical imaging that I have discussed with you, active medical devices, tissue engineered products. So it is not like something which has been done, which can be done manually. So now the role of AI is justified. Now it is very much useful. Now we have in the opponent uh, party right before this slide, but now we are in a proposed system party that AI has specifically done good. It is a phenomenally uh, great technique. It is a phenomenal technique which has, I mean, <coughs> eased the life of everyone, including me, you, and everyone. Fine. Agriculture is something, uh, animal husbandry is something which has been revolutionized. White revolution is something which has been revolutionized in Scotland, in Australia, agricultural revolution, which has been revolutionized by using AI only. So there are lots of examples. <coughs> now you can ask me, sir, uh, just you have told that AI is nothing and, uh, and it is all intelligent system. Of course, I'm, I'm still stick to my point. I'm, I'm still stick to my concepts, what I have been gone through with. <coughs> it's intelligent system only. Fine. So suppose there is a biological sciences. Let's talk about the biological sciences. So early diagnosis of any chronic disease is very much helpful in minimizing the compilations of that disease, the complexity of that disease. So it helps in deciding basically what treatment protocol we are going to follow. Fine. So there are various diagnoses and various treatment protocol which prove that artificial intelligence is boon in healthcare. No doubt about that. <coughs> so basically, the purpose of artificial intelligence is to make computer very much useful in solving problematic healthcare challenges. That's my point is. We cannot talk in air that AI is good or AI is bad. If it is applicable to some co concepts, some domain, whether it is healthcare, whether, whether it is biometrics, whether it is agriculture, whether it is anything, whether prediction, stock market analysis, there are lots of things. Then there, there is a point. Now, if it is applicable in real-time scenario, there will be two things. Then what is intelligent system and what is difference between intelligent system and AI? So if we not need to learn and train the model based on the database 
or some specific question or questionnaire, then it is not an AI. It is not an artificial intelligence. It is intelligent-based system. It has been trained as per its database, which as per some experienced data or past data which has been worked before. Fine. So this is the threaded line difference, what I have discussed with you. Fine. So solving a problematic healthcare challenges is AI by using computer. Fine. So we can interpret data which is obtained by diagnosis of various chronic diseases. It has been used in COVID. Fine. It has been used in fine. It has been used in Alzheimer. Fine. So some of the area covered with reveal how AI is helpful in diagnosis and treatment of various chronic disease, including I mean, uncured disease also. I mean, cancer treatment, tuberculosis analysis. It could be COVID. It could be Alzheimer. So there are lots of other examples. Fine. So what this PPT is all about, I mean, tissue engineered products, gene therapy, drug device. It is not possible manually from for any doctor or something. So this is called biomedical engineering. When computer scientists or when uh, healthcare uh, devices are, are being made by computer scientists and it is being used by doctors and medical personalities, fine. So this is the collaboration where AI has collaborated different sources, different persons from different fields and they are working very well. So this could be one of the uh, I mean, uh, research scenario or research domain, which has been touched in, in these days very much. Fine. So let's move to the next slide. So role of artificial intelligence in monitoring and support intervention. Fine. How we can uh, use this thing in a very efficient way. So these are some thing which has been done in uh, recently. Um, you can see the date there in 2019. So it is artificial intelligence, chat box, and future of medicine. Fine. Artificial intelligence, chat box, and future of medicine. Uh, high quality information is itself a boon. So having those and using those information in solving the problem about the situation related to human behavior is very much important. Fine. So I have move to this slide before that because what we are going to do is this health monitoring tool to support intervention and health behavior fine wearable health trackers fine from different companies so these informations are boon to the doctors getting my point so these are the roles which has been done fine so if we are talking about this slide fine so it is the healthcare industry has always been a leader in innovation. Fine. Whether it is cancer society, whether it is uh, Alzheimer's society or anything. So the constant mutating of disease and virus makes it difficult to stay ahead of the curve. Getting my point. But with the help of artificial intelligence and machine learning algorithm, it continues to advance, create new treatments, helping people to live longer and healthy life. Fine. And how it is performed, how it is done. Fine. So this is published before. This is the thing. A study published in a week that the last digital health compared the performance of deep learning. So this is all about deep learning, a form of artificial intelligence, but it can be applied over the bulky data. The algorithm has much more richer than what machine learning, I mean, uh, is having. So detecting disease from medical imaging versus that healthcare professional so using a sample of studies carried out between 2012 to 2019 and it, it has been published in 2019 fine so this study particularly founds in the past few years ai has become more accurate of identifying disease even biomedical branches can not, are relying upon the computer scientist or ai specialist or ai experts to get at some decision fine so in these images and has become more visible sources of I mean, diagnostic information. Getting my point. So according to the researcher, out of 14 studies, compared deep learning models and healthcare professionals. Fine, within the same sample. 
parameters cannot be changed now if we are doing some comparison we cannot change the parameters so if parameter is same so healthcare professional and deep learning models which are the effective so deep learning models is effective of course and if it is not effective the diagnostic performance were found to be equivalent if it is not uh, i mean uh, uh, if it is not better than that it could be i mean like equivalent to that this is the point fine so this slide this is also a study which has been published in 2019 and 2020 so this is also a study i mean in which i mean applying ai to medical diagnosis provide numerous benefits fine to evolving of in healthcare industry ai based software can tell whether a patient has certain disease even before evident symptom appear even if the symptom has not been appeared it can predict that this is going to be affected or this is going to be positive or negative in case of corona only we can see that and nobody will justify the corona kit perfectly that it is 100% right even if you are having a high temperature it can be that like he is a corona positive or something so they are working on it the devices can be i mean human error is always there machine error is always there but in the latest research google proved that neural network can be trained to detect sign of lung cancer also getting my point so most of the research which has been done in ai in domain of biomedical or bioinformatics or healthcare has been recognized well in different reputed journal and universities and research center of different universities or different labs also fine so जो ट्रेंड रेडियोलॉजिस्ट होते हैं उससे ज्यादा इफेक्टिव हमारा ये एआई हो रहा है पॉइंट इज ऑल दो दिस प्रोग्राम नीड टू बी वैलिडेटेड वैलिडेशन इज ऑलवेज अ कॉन्स्टेंट देयर ऑन अ लार्जर ऑडियंस और गो थ्रू ओरिजिनल टेस्ट द आइडिया इट सेल्फ ऑलरेडी इंग्लिज ग्रोइंग इंटरेस्ट ऑफ यूजिंग ए आई टू डिटेक्ट कैंसर इन अर्ली स्टेजेस इफ इट कुड बी डिटेक्ट इन अर्ली स्टेजेस इट कुड बी रिवोल्यूशन फाइन सो दीज आर द things which has been analyzed on different test cases that has been performed or different patient cases fine so this is called medical imaging we will discuss more about medical imaging and uh, texture recognition or something uh, tomorrow when we are discussing image processing in healthcare and then we will do some coding or something in matlab also we will discuss different scenario fine so this slide is all about ki diagnostic i mean diagnostics and treatment have always been tricky process right from the beginning the reason for this that the doctors need to simultaneously consider symptoms the patient has or the patient is having fine possible research mistake it could be all the existing treatment method side effects for example potential side effects you can also consider and disease with having similar signs and many more aspects so there are lots of other things so modern solution can be done by using ai that already help doctor to overcome the research obstacle fine so even you are using a pacemaker even you are using a ecg so it's all about ai fine so the company which has been making i mean medical devices is top of the sensex that's why fine so health data is very much important to make those devices uh, and so your holistic understanding of patient health so there are lots of test cases required for performing so still we can connect to the point that training and modeling and learning three things training and learning training and learning you can use the term modeling also but training and learning the model itself is still there if it is not there the no device will work as efficiently as you want it to work fine so these are some things which has been produced the accuracy of 90% if you can see the slide and it has been uh, from the uh, research scenario only fine so even when the disease is detected and classified the treatment process can cause additional issue some side effects can also be there but also coordinate care plans help patient to manage their treatment program the you have to manage to understand then that what could be the risk of the adverse event 
So constraint is always there in AI, fine. And in every algorithm, there should be some constraint, there should be some input constraint or something. So what modern AI algorithm is doing, modern uh, AI algorithm already helped Dr. a lot, arrange a comprehensive approach to disease management, fine. Moreover, I mean, uh, they are often used to improve the surgical robots that execute high compute operation, but I would not prefer for mine if I'll need that, unfortunately. And so do you, mostly, that we cannot rely on some automated robot to operate us. Fine. So this is the biggest drawback still. So it is also, a, hence it is also an intelligent system, only it's not AI. Fine. Similarly, there are lots of other concepts. I mean, in AI health, we are having treatment design, precision medicine. And so basic algorithm is support vector machine or something. We will discuss it later. So let's discuss the AI role. For example, um, this is something which is need to be discussed. The research showing AI may help diagnose tuberculosis and remote areas captures. Gives award. Fine. So machine learning has made great advances in pharma and biotech efficiency. The post has been I mean, summarized. There was a post which has been summarized in this PPT. Fine. So diagnosis a disease is one of the feature. So how machine learning learn to diagnose? This is the technical thing. How machine learning to learn to diagnose? So particularly deep learning algorithm, it is based on because the data is very much bulky. Fine. So even then, diagnosis is often an I mean time taking, time consuming process. Because data is very bulky. We cannot reach at some decision by taking ten examples or hundred examples. Could be like thousand lakhs of examples from patient data sets. Fine. So by <coughs> Giving AI collaborated with uh, bioinformatics, it makes the diagnostics cheaper and much more accessible. Fine. So, what is the machine learning role in it? Let's discuss the machine learning role in it. What machine learning play an important role? I mean, it could be medication management, improving client adherence. Fine. So, there are different institutes like National Institutes of Health have been created. So some apps have been created or some uh, algorithm has been developed. So machine learning algorithm can learn to see the pattern similarly to the way of Dr. Steven. Getting my point? The same way that Dr. see that pattern, machine learning algorithm has been developed in the same way. So a key difference is there is a difference although that algorithm needs a lot of concrete examples. I have told you that it's totally based on uh, bigger and bulky data sets. It's not that easy that we can um, and, uh, exemplify the things and we can see by taking some 2 or 10 or 12 or 13 examples. Fine. So in order to learn, and these examples need to be neatly digitalized. Then there is a concept of digital image processing or medical image processing. Fine. So machines can't read between the lines in I mean textbook. Getting my point. So machine is particularly helpful, or machine learning is particularly helpful in area where diagnostic diagnostic information has been available. A bigger bulky data sets has been available for what doctors has examined, and it has been designed. It understands only I mean understands only zero and one. That's the concept is fine. 